Hi there, welcome to Storytime with Miss Andrea reading on behalf of the Loveland Public Library. As always, before we read stories, we have to get our wiggles out. Can you stand up for me, please? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears. And I wiggle my nose. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my chin. Mama, 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 mama. I stretch my arms wide and I pull them back in. I wiggle my elbows. I wiggle my knees. I hop like a bunny. And I smile and say, cheese. Now I have no more wiggles left in me and I'll sit on the floor as still as can be. So March, that's the month that we're in right now, is Women's History Month. So we're gonna read a book today celebrating the power of women. This one, is by Parker Curry and Jessica Curry. It's illustrated by Brittany Jackson, and it's called Parker Looks Up, An Extraordinary Moment. Parker Curry loved to dance. Dressed in her favorite tutu, she imagined she was a dancing queen. One rainy Tuesday, instead of going to dance class, Parker's mother said, let's go to the museum. And Ava too. Parker loved visiting the museum almost as much as she loved twirling and leaping in the air. She pulled on her boots and mom and her sister Ava buttoned up their jackets. Have fun girls, bye dad. And off they went. Flashing and smiling. Surprise! Gia, Parker's best friend, greeted them from the top of the museum steps. <gasps> Yay, it's Gia! Once inside, the friends hurried down a long hall, looking at the paintings all around them. They saw prancing, what are these? Horses, what do horses say? Yay! They saw prancing horses. They saw blooming flowers. A bushy mustache. A shiny jeweled necklace. Two peacocks with red eyes. And one basket of slimy fish. Ew! They saw feathers. And lots and lots of brilliant feathers. Hurry up, Ava! When Gia spotted a playroom, she raced ahead. Parker charged after her. Let's make silly faces. After Gia stuck purple hair onto the easel and Parker added a pirate hat and sunglasses, it was time to go home. Time to go home, girls. Skipping down the hall, the girls spied a row full of frilly white tutus. <gasps> Parker raised her arms and Gia spun around and around. Wait for me, Parker called, dancing after her friend, until she froze in her tracks, spellbound. Parker Curry looked up. A portrait of the then First Lady Michelle Obama loomed before her. She had rich brown skin, just like Parker, and kind, familiar eyes that reminded Parker of her mother, her grandmother, her sister, and yes, even herself. How could someone look so real and so magical at the same time? Who is she? Parker's mother's voice filled the air. Her words were coming to rest squarely on Parker's tiny shoulders. She's a mother, she's a lawyer, she's a writer, 
She's courageous, smart, caring, inspirational, a hero, a friend, a sister. She's confident, dynamic, she's an advocate, a volunteer, she's honest, she's a mentor, and she's hopeful. She is a queen, Parker whispered, unable to look away, to move, to breathe. And in that moment, Parker saw more than just a portrait. She saw a road before her with endless possibilities. Suddenly Parker felt a small hand in hers and the spell was broken. Come look, Ava, she said, putting her arm around her little sister and standing tall. For Parker Curry was feeling powerful and strong and even though she hadn't moved, inside, she was dancing. The end, except that this was actually very much based on a true story. Parker Curry helped to write this story. So the little girl who did that is right here. And this story just shows us how powerful it is to have women that we can look up to, that we can mold our path based on strong women who came before us. So, Parker also loved to dance, right? So let's go ahead and stand up, and we're going to get our dancing on. We're going to dance our fingers up, dance our fingers down, dance our fingers all over town, dance them on your shoulders, dance them on your head, dance them on your knees, and tuck them into bed. Let's try that again. Dance your fingers up, Dance your fingers down. Dance your fingers all over town. Dance them on your shoulders. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your knees. And tuck them into bed. Fantastic. Can you get your clapping hands out and let's say goodbye? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Bye 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 bye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Goodbye. Marmalade and jam, let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Goodbye. For those of you who might want it, it's coming up. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye. Thank you for coming to listening to Storytime with me today. Happy Women's History Month.